the? He has to make at least two hundred thousand a year. What the? What the? What the? That was a crazy clip, and that is related to the video topic I have today. But yeah, it, it is a crazy clip, admittedly. And holy shit, what the fuck did I just watch? What the? I'm not even gonna say anything. It's not worth saying. At least two and a half. What the? <laughs> Nearly quarter of a million a year. <laughs> nice. Yo, back on the main topic of today's video. Yo, I gotta get up video games. I'm gonna plug my PS4 and have it there. Temptation. Mouse. I've had temptation ring at my door, and I just get the feeling. Oh, get on Warframe, got a quest to do, get on Apex, you should get that Tony Bomb for race. Get on. Temptation's at the door, but it's constantly knocking. But I'm still like managing to work, which is like I find very, 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 how do I say this? Fulfilling, in a sense. Because I'm ignoring Temptation. Having it right in front of me, I'm ignoring it. And the book of Tomic Habits, he says, make it difficult. And to me, it is kind of difficult. Just to think about all the time I want to waste on it, and like the projects I have currently. Like, the weight of wanting to play video games is far larger than the weight of my deadlines and my work, etc. etc. So, that's made it kind of video game unattractive. But, more than that, like, minus productivity, minus all of this shit, I, I have to get video games. And there's a guy in the video games currently who's grinding with a uh, Warframe. He's not that high master rank, I think master rank 14, not that high. He's reaching mid game, where a lot of people quit. And they're gonna warframe, like, people never really truly quit, do they? They just, like, you know, go AFK for a while. They never break. Because they get an MMORPG and the grind, there's always something to grind. And the grind never stops. Like, you, you can't really finish warframe. And because of it, like, um, it's just like a hundred different things to do at once. And you slowly try to work towards those hundred different things, you get like five done. Congratulations, now I spent 15 hours on the game. Still another 85 things to do. It's just arduous. I just put my window up. May I? May no busy, babe. What did you cook? Really strong bread smell in our house. Hard to breathe. Fresh air in my house, especially in my room. You know, I saw a guy. You know, I saw a guy that was still playing video games. He had like a sunken chest, like a disability. He was like, that, yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's really tough. I understand that. He's like, it goes through pain a lot, etc., 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 et and then he gets disability checks on the US government, seven hundred dollars a month, which is absolute pain, by the way. And he's like 33 at home playing video games all the time, unemployed, not even trying to make more income, while his mother works a job as a manager at McDonald's. And he used to work as a janitor until he just stopped working as a janitor and he just went back to living in his shithole house, do, doing whatever the fuck. And like, Above all that he smokes as well, so he has a chest thing. Like, that's like the chest thing. I've seen a lot of guys like that go to the gym before. Before going to the gym, they have a second chest. When they go to the gym, it looks really good. Like it's really defining for the for the, the apex. And I'm like to this guy, like, bro, you should genuinely consider exercise. Genuinely, like, start doing push-ups. And you're like, oh yeah, I sh I know I should, but you know, I just don't. That's the type of individual I'm around when I'm playing when I'm playing video games. When I'm on the Warframe, on on the game, I don't want to be around those people because I'll be a, I'll be just I just like them, and that very thought of being just like them, it like it adds more weight it, to 
the projects thing because if I get my work done and I'll slowly walk my way towards you know, being a business owner and you know getting money and you know getting a life worth living but I'm not I'm seeing myself like rapidly fall back I wrote a page I read out my journal probably when I'm finished with this book I'll probably read out, read out my first journal soon like oh man it's worrying guys that's worrying like you're always thinking, oh, you're looking down on him. Like, yeah, obviously I'm looking down on him. In the race of life for men, he's not even in the race. He's not even walking. He's on a wheelchair, but his legs are fine. And he's smoking in that wheelchair. And he's numbing his brain with social media content and video games. It reminds me of um, a story I'll tell you. When I was back when I was playing Warframe on PC, because I played on PS4 for a while, about 500 hours on PS4. Then I moved over to PC, and I had like over 3,000 hours on PC. So I really, really grinded on PC. I'm like, only master rank 18, but I kind of just gave up on leveling master rank. All I need to do is just grind cool weapons, get a bunch of former. I already have a bunch of former. All I need to do is just form out and then add the mods in and use them. I still need to grind endo as well. Just like, look how much things there's to do in the video games. It's too much. It's endless. It's there to just purposely suck your soul dry. I'll be alright, I need your water because I need to keep talking. So, just enough for this video. I have room for my bottle. Two liters. I, can't, I finish like one, two every single day. I drink like two to four, two, four liters a day. It's quite nuts. My toilet is going crazy, bro. <laughs> no, no, a separate bottle just pissing. It's so much. Pause. 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 Yeah. Back on the heavy topic of. This guy is he's 33, he's out of shape, he smokes, he has a disability, he's getting 700 a month from the government, he's unemployed, he spends all his time playing Warframe, like he's rapidly leveling up in Warframe. Like as he levels up in Warframe, his character levels up, but he himself degrades, regresses, goes down, and every single day, the change is so incremental and small, and it's so loserish, I'll tell you the story of Continuish. There was a guy who was 30 years old, I'm not going to name him. I call him Steven again. He's 30 years old, I think he's like 36 now. And he's like severely overweight. Like he left his, no, you know, he, his, I think his girlfriend left him or his, he left his girlfriend. But his girlfriend was cute. Yeah, I don't want to say anything, like his girlfriend's cute. I don't want to say anything. Because like it's weird to say. I mean, it's true. His girlfriend was cute. She left him or he left her. And all he does all day is just jerk off cam girls and play Warframe. He's one of the best Warframe players I've ever seen in my entire life. One of the best. Like he's very, very strong. Like, he's completed the game plus a hundred. Like he, he, it's insane to think about. Like he's so good at the game. But then you look at him look at him in real life, he's smoked, he's fat, he's overweight, jokes off the cam, cam girls. He I said to him before like I don't really I don't really joke off. Like I don't that thing. Like you're talking about cam girls to me. And I said I don't jerk off. 
I don't drive off the cabaret either. I think it's weird. You know, you don't drive cars. That's weird. You're weird. At least the cab goes. You know, I think like, oh, why is a thirty-year-old talking to seven? Uh, I like sixteen, I like fifteen, sixteen, seventeen at the time. Why well, don't you that way? But like, you know, we were really close friends. We were close. We were friends for like a, like a good two, three years. So we were really close then, and I worry for him. Like, obviously, I look down on him a bit. I lose a bit of respect for him, but I worry for him. My worry and worry worrisome is much higher. I just think to myself, like, holy shit. He looked down at me for not jerking off. For not bashing the bishop. He's that mentally lost. Turning 18 soon, I might go say hi to him again. Steven is a good guy. I don't know how to see what Steven. <laughs> Steven is a good guy. He's just brainwashed. I need to come back to work. I'm not really holding eye contact with the camera. I'm really looking down and I'm looking into the light outside in my room because this story has such a heavy impact to me. Like it makes you think, well, after you're on the self-improvement grind, after you see like how your choice can genuinely affect your life and how your life can turn out to be better. Like I, I saw a video a while back in my room and my room was a pig. A pigsty, a pigsty, I don't know. It was messy, it was really messy, it was really dirty. Now, it is somewhat messy in my gym clothes. I mean, look, look. I've got one, two, three, four, five monitors. But I'm only using these two. These two, like, I need to fix. This one I need to fix up and sell, probably. But I really like it. I really like it. Anyways, I might keep it. I might. Can't sell it. I'll put it online, though. And then that one, I need to fix up the HDMI. The HDMI is fried. And this one. The VGA works with the HDMI is fried, and this one is only VGA exclusive. But yeah, I need to tweak some, something like that. So, they're like semi broken, etc. That's for us. My vitamins there, I took, I take every single day. Controller there, collecting dust. PS4. Set up, water, massage gun, pause. It's all massage myself. A wardrobe. My room. Before, like, they used to be like that. Like I just closed on the floor, making a small pathway over to my bed. It was really bad. And I have to say, like, simply just cleaning my room had an overall much more better, like, how do I say this, impact on my mood and the way I felt my life. I think that, that mess is pissing me off as well. And those dumbbells pissing me off. I get rid of them. The monitor is kind of out of place as well, so I need to get rid of it. Putting it somewhere. I think that I might have put it. We'll see if it works. I know if it works, my old computer here is that this computer works. Power cable, I plugged it in with the power cable, it works. Yeah, it was fascinating. I wonder what he's doing now. So we're out in the world, Stevens out there. Is it the same bullshit activities? Is it the same coping strategies? Cope, cope, cope. Is it the same bullshit life as he quickly approaches 40? He's almost spent like 10 years playing Warframe. Shit, shit, crazy like that. Like some of them have killer stuff and everything. It's just not. It's not it. I miss him. I wish him well. But I cannot copy him. I cannot stay around him. He is, by all in fact, a loser. And like today, I was getting that feeling as well. Like I read a comment. Like just get money in a life worth living. 
someone was like, someone saw my comment and they posted it in my video, which is kind of nice because now I got an accountability partner, the internet an accountability partner, right? And like, I was like kind of lethargic or staying in bed watching fucking Andrew Tate shorts and shorts and stuff, Brian Johnson shorts, which is someone I really, really look up to these days. And then, like, I saw his comment and I was like, holy shit, yeah, you're right. It's my, my comment. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, use my own logic against me. Because in the video, like, I could say that, oh, my, in that video, I was, like, particularly low and I was completely out there and I was, like, oh, etc. Et I can make excuses, but yeah, it's true. It's true to get money in life worth living. If you get money, the process of getting money will usually um, entail you being busy with it or something. Whether that's selling a service, business, product, something. You'll be busy with something. Too busy to have all this time to be like, oh shit, oh yeah, my life sucks. Because you'd be proactively chasing discomfort and proactively focusing on goals and tasks, etc, etc. And before, before you know it, you're happy with your life, you're content with your life. Because you've achieved something. And someone told me to lay on a bridge. Same video. Touche. <sighs> and then he said you're attracting sadness, sadness in my video. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> you got me, bro. <laughs> no, but I can't. I was sick, though. My own words, effectively, through the transmission of someone else, kind of just woke me up and got me out of bed. And I think today, like, slowly but surely, I'm getting back that productive, productive energy. Like I'm, like, I'm recapturing that productive essence that I lost before. And I'm very, very grateful for that. I was set out in my thing. I'm, I'm 200% sure of that. I really like that. I'm gonna that. No, I'm not going to press any of that. I'll read it later. So I'm going to open my drawer right and then check and uh, I'll check later. I'll need to do meditation and work now. Try for my schedule as well. <laughs> yeah. Get money in life with living. Yeah. You know, I said I was grateful in my journal for that call YouTube comment. I'm genuinely grateful. I hope he's watching this video or she's watching this video, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even gonna say that man. <laughs> I hope they're watching this video. And I hope they don't. I'm great, immensely, immensely grateful for them. Without that comment, I would have never gone out of bed. I probably went back to sleep. Been lethargic, even more than lethargic. Out of, out of it, bastard. Your own comment, despite you probably had the intention to know, show me a bit. Uh, you push me. Thank you. It means a lot. It means a lot, bro. It, it genuinely means a lot. I'm actually happy. Like, so one, someone like watching my videos, two, I'm having to come to my partner, three, like, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming better as an individual, like, it, this is just, this is great, this is great. You know, I know this, this, this video started with like, a dark story a bit, you know, it's kind of like fucked up, you know, why are you not jerking off, you're weird for not jerking off to your thing, it's like my other gaming friends that told me it was weird for exercising. These gaming friends saw me as weird for not dropping off. The Jeffreys, the Normies, whatever you like to call them, the people in the Matrix. Oh, Matrix. Oh, I'm stopping bullets with my hands. Yeah, bullshit. The people that are heavily indoctrinated and they subscribe to common media, they all look down on you. They will see you as weird. It's different. Until you have those results. Until you become one of those individuals, like, oh yeah, I'm a fitness person now. Oh yeah, I'm a no fat person now, or something. And that no fat thing is stupid anyway. I think no fat is completely not stupid. Uh, I think the best, the, like, how do I say this? The biggest way of just saying no fat is just not thinking about being happy at all. You're getting so busy, like, 100% productive day, getting so busy to the point where, like, you have no time to do that stupid activity. And you have pure, how do I say this, time just for yourself to put focus on that. I'm going to fucking ramble here, that was a waffle. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Man, every single time I click the button, it doesn't work.
goofy camera, bro. Oh my god, I really messed it up. I'm almost out of water. What am I doing, man? What the? Back in this video. Oh, this is the wrong button. Are you on drugs? <laughs> no. What the?